hello friends so now we are moving to the fourth problem in the combination solids here a hemisphere of radius 30 centimeter is placed with its straight surface upwards on the top of a rectangular block of 40 mm into 40 mm into 32 that means a, a hemisphere of radius 30 mm is placed over a placed with a, its a straight face on the top over a square prism or a square prism of a 40 mm side and a 32 mm height in this question we have to draw the isometric projection of the combination solid clear so the first step is we have to construct the orthography projection so this is a orthography projection so what will be the first step we can start with, start with the square block so 30 30 we know that this is a square of 40 so this will be 40 so take 40 here take 40 here see actually this question is isometric projection right so isometric projection means every dimension should be reduced by 0.816 so we know that this is 40 so this dimension will be 40 into should be 40 into 0.816 use that value and mark here this is also 40 into 0.816 by that with the uh, with that value complete this layer now the height is 32 so in isometric projection that height will be 32 into 0.816 so with that value we can complete the square block and we can also obtain the center of the square block so this is the center of the square block now we know that from that center the center of the circle will be at a height of 30 right so at a height of 30 into 0 0.816 we can obtain the center of the circle see at a height of 30 into 0 0.816 usually the dimension in isometric projection will be, should be the same dimension so this dimension should be indicated as 32 <coughs> so 32 into 0 0.816 sorry 30 into 0 0.816 Th take 30 into 0 0.816 and locate this point now what will be the next step see we know that uh, at this height uh, or at the center there is a layer having an ellipse right that layer will contain the circle so in isometric projection that will be an ellipse so <coughs> the center the plane having the center must contain the ellipse right so that plane we have to plot that uh, we have to plot uh, an ellipse on that plane so at first we have to draw or we have to obtain the box for that ellipse right since we have obtained the center the point containing the layer must be ellipse so we have to draw a box for drawing that ellipse clear now how can we draw that box see there are many methods the easy method is listen this is the point belongs to this point this point belongs to this point so see if we can draw a line like this and like this this is a vertical diameter and this is a horizontal diameter the same diameters can be drawn here also how can be drawn if we have this point we can draw a line like this and if we have this point we can draw a line like this parallel to, this is parallel to x axis so this will be parallel to isometric x axis this is parallel to y axis though so this will be parallel to isometric y axis but we don't have these four points because we start with the here so now we don't have this point then how can we draw that is very easy because see we have the center and we have this distance also this distance is a 30 30 means 30 into point 8 and 6 so take 30 into point 8 and 6 we know that this is a line parallel to x axis so through this point draw a line through this point draw a line parallel to the isometric x axis clear so parallel to this isometric x axis draw a line having 30 into point 8 and 6 
Similarly, here also 30 into point 0.826. Now, through this point, draw a line parallel to isometric y-axis because we are drawing this line. So, that will be like this. Parallel to this line. Parallel to this line. So, that uh, we have completed this line and this line here. Then, how can we complete this rectangle? How can we complete this rectangle? It is very simple. Through this point, draw a line parallel to this line. Through this point, draw a line parallel to this line. Through this point, draw a line parallel to this line. Through this point, draw a line parallel to this line. So that uh, we have completed the box, and in that box, uh, the ellipse will come. You see, clear. So now, using the four center method, from this, this will be the midpoint. Use the four center method. So, this is the upper portion that will be the circle. So, in the isometric, it will be a, uh, an ellipse. It will be an ellipse. Now, what will be? What about this curve? That curve is a part of the sphere. We have the center with us, center of the sphere. How can we construct a sphere? The sphere for sphere, we are, if the isometric view we are plotting, the radius of the sphere will be 1.22 into r. Here we are plotting isometric projection. So, the radius will be 1 into r. So, we have the center. So, keeping that center, take a radius 1 into 30. So, that will be 30. Draw a circle. So, while drawing the circle, you will get the circle like this. And at one point, it will automatically coincide at some point of this ellipse. If you are drawing by taking uh, this as center and uh, 30 as radius, 30 means 1 into 30, since we are plotting isometric projection, 1 into 30 as radius while drawing, at one point it will automatically comes to coincides with uh, this curve, stop there, okay. So, now we have completed the isometric of the isometric projection of the hemisphere which is placed over the square block. Now, we have to draw the square block. So, this is a square block. So, this is a part of the square block. Only this much portion will be visible for the square block. So, only that much is necessary. This is the answer. Okay. So, the only one thing is, uh, this is very easy. So, start with here, you draw the isometric of that square block uh, and once you obtain the center of the this point, center of the sphere, through that point, since it is a semicircle, hemisphere, we have to draw a, draw an ellipse there. We have to draw the isometric of a circle there. So, we have the center. So, keeping that center, we have to draw a layer there. That layer will contain the ellipse of the circle. So, if you have the center, how can we construct that layer? See, we will explain again. If this is the center, see this is the 30 degree, 30 degree line. Through this point, draw a line parallel to this 30 degree. Through this point, draw a line parallel to this 30 degree. So, that we have four end points. Now, through this end point, draw a line parallel to this one. Through this point, draw a line parallel to this one. Through this point, draw a line parallel to isometric x. Through this point, draw parallel to isometric y. So, that we have obtained the layer. Okay. So, now we have the layer. Once you obtain the layer, you know how to construct the ellipse. So, construct the ellipse. And keeping this center and 1 into r as radius, draw a circle. Sin why you are taking 1 into r? Because we are constructing isometric projection here. So, that circle will coincide at some point here. So, connect those points complete all the thing so that you will get the isometrics of the hemisphere. So, the important thing in this question is we are constructing isometric projection. So, the every dimension you are taking should multiply with the point 826 before mark in the isometric projection. Okay. Once you obtain the center, now at this point only you are drawing the circle. So, all the 
values before that you should multiply with the 0.816 and at this point while drawing that circle you should take the radius as 1 into okay so i think all of you have understood this question thank you